Hi, Sonal Verma, the India economist at Nomura Financial Advisory and Securities, joins us as promised. Morning, Sonal. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, well, uh, you have been telling us that the tracking inflation number is coming in lower than the inflation forecast that you had so far, or that analysts had so far. What is the sense you got after looking at yesterday's CPI number that uh, we look quite clearly uh, way below 8 in January and maybe, uh, you know, way below 7 as well by March? Uh, yes, absolutely, Lata. So the underlying inflation, which was uh, tracking 6, 6.5% uh, in September, actually has fallen to uh, slightly under 6% uh, in October. Uh, so, obviously, you know, next month we have another, uh, you know, positive number because of base effects, uh, post which, uh, you know, we are expecting inflation to go up. Uh, but the disinflation actually continues still in the economy because of the lagged effects of uh, growth slowdown. Uh, so, it now appears that uh, instead of the 7, 7.5% uh, range in which, uh, you know, we were expecting inflation to rebound to in first uh, quarter of 2015, uh, inflation is more likely to be in the 6 to 6.7 uh, kind of a range in Q1 2015. Uh, so clearly significantly below, uh, you know, the uh, initial expectations. Sonal, uh, good morning. So when does Nomura expect its first rate cut? And based on what we've seen, would you push forward your rate cut uh, expectations by at least one policy? I think, uh, you know, uh, we'd highlighted in September that uh, the inflation trajectory was undershooting and therefore there was uh, a slightly higher probability of uh, rate cut in the second half of 2015. Uh, but I think, you know, it is uh, important to understand, uh, you know, uh, the RBI's uh, new framework on monetary policy because clearly we are positive on inflation and inflation is tracking significantly below what we had expected and it's likely to continue to moderate in the first half of uh, 2015 as well. But when it comes to, you know, the view on monetary policy, I think RBI is taking a more medium term view on inflation. Uh, and their objective is to keep inflation actually anchored around, let's say, 4 or 5 percent in the next three years or so, even as the growth cycle picks up. Therefore, what we are seeing partly right now is actually the lagged effect of the past growth slowdown. And the challenge for the RBI is that, you know, while inflation may undershoot in the short term, uh, in two years' time, when actually growth starts to pick up, will we still be able to stabilize inflation, uh, you know, uh, around 5 percent or whatever the medium target they said. Urjit Patel committee actually said 4 mm. percent. Mm. And I think that is where, uh, you know, the disconnect between inflation and the RBI stance uh, comes through. Surely, if inflation is coming down, it does open up some room for rate cuts. But if the objective is to stabilize inflation at 4 or 5 percent in a rising growth environment, uh, then that room is going to be quite limited. So where would your informed guess be in terms of rate cut timing? So our base case is still for, uh, you know, a cut in uh, first half of uh, 2016. And I think after the recent undershooting on inflation, the uh, probability of uh, some cut in second half of 2015 is uh, going up. But like I said, uh, the scope uh, for rate cuts uh, in this framework is going to be quite limited. And that is the more important uh, message, actually. Okay. Uh, so now let's shift focus then to growth because after three successive disappointments, the IIP was a welcome relief. You know, it printed two and a half percent. Do you think this momentum is sustainable? On a on a on a trend basis, yes, we do think it's uh, sustainable. Uh, but in terms of the sequential uh, uh, momentum, uh, not yet. Uh, part of the rebound we've seen in IP in September, in our view, is increased production uh, because of the festive season in October. And as you know, the working days in October this year were much lesser than uh, working days uh, last October because of the you know Diwali falling in October versus November last year. So we are going to see some moderate again in IP growth uh, in October. Uh, but from a trend basis, uh, we are increasingly becoming uh, confident that we are uh, in the initial stages of the business cycle uh, turning around. Uh, you know, whether you look at the auto numbers, which again got uh, 
who were disappointing in October because of the lesser working days. Uh, but the broad trajectory in things like, you know, the medium and heavy commercial vehicle segment, which is a good indicator of the transportation and industrial cycle, uh, you know, the kind of, you know, for instance, visitor arrivals we are seeing in India, which indicates the uh, interest, uh, you know, in the economy, uh, the fall in commodity prices and inflation, which basically bodes very well for profit margins for companies and also for consumers' disposable incomes, and therefore discretionary consumer demand uh, going up. Uh, the speed with which the government is clearing a lot of the projects, obviously there are some historical balance sheet issues, and therefore it will take time for this to show up in real activity numbers. Uh, but the fundamental factors that drive the business cycle are now falling in place. Uh, this business cycle, of course, is going to be much slower and gradual than in history, A, because both fiscal and monetary policies are on the tighter side, and B, global growth outlook is, uh, you know, quite muted. Uh, but I think in terms of the trend, uh, India should see a gradual pickup in the growth cycle uh, in the next 6 to 12 months. Okay, I'll just come to your exact expectations when you say 6 to 12 months. Uh, uh, we have this uh, note posted in Reuters actually. Uh, their news, uh, domestic news wing is called uh, uh, News Rise. Uh, the Reserve Bank of India may not be in a hurry to start lowering rates. Uh, uh, as it remains wary of food price gains pushing overall inflation higher, an advisor to the central bank said. Now, uh, the Reserve Bank has its monetary policy committee, and uh, it could be one of them. Uh, the RBI is also uh, uh, seeks to ascertain the government's stance on inflation tightening as the authorities work together on setting up a monetary policy committee. The advisor, who didn't wish to be identified, told uh, uh, News Rise in an interview. A rate cut in December will be premature, the person said. The regulator will look into different scenarios that may emerge next year and also factor in likely swings in global commodity prices and food inflation, unquote. Uh, uh, another advisor said separately that though inflation has eased, a trend reversal will happen in coming months and the central bank needs to take a forward-looking view on prices. Uh, okay, I might just tell you that this could be a person from the Monetary Policy Committee which advises uh, the Reserve Bank. The minutes of the, Reserve, the committee are released with a lag and uh, the last committee uh, meeting had recommended a cut and Rajan did not cut. So, I mean, the advisor, one advisor's view should be taken in perspective. The entire lot's views were not taken by the Reserve Bank and they had uh, a mind of their own. But here's one advisor saying that a rate cut in December will be premature. That is in line with almost all economists we have spoken with, uh, including Sonal Varma. Okay, Sonal, I just wanted some more precise numbers from you on GDP. You were talking about uh, 6 to 12 months in terms of a recovery. Uh, your GDP number for the uh, quarter f for the quarter that we will get second quarter more importantly for the entire uh, for Q4 of uh, the current uh, year and your guess for next year Lata, so after the surprise uh, you know rebound in IP number uh, in September the September quarter GDP is tracking uh, at around 5.5 uh, percent, which is about 30 basis, 20, 30, 20 basis point below, uh, you know, last uh, quarter's reading. Uh, but you know, the tracking estimate a month back was actually closer to 5 percent. So the tracking estimate for uh, September quarter GDP actually have uh, moved up. One because of better IP numbers, and second because of the higher government spending we've seen in uh, September. Uh, December quarter should be largely flat. Uh, as compared to September uh, because the impact of the below normal uh, monsoons on Kharif mm -hmm. will be felt uh, maximum in the December quarter. So even if non-agriculture GDP picks up, which is what we expect, uh, the headline uh, GDP is unlikely to uh, shift much. Uh, so for FI16, uh, looking ahead, uh, India actually should be firing on all cylinders. Uh, you know, hopefully we have a normal monsoon which will push up, you know, agriculture GDP to above 3 percent. Uh, industrial recovery will, in our view, play out gradually. And if the industry does pick up, then I think some of the sectors that are linked to industry, whether it's transportation, you know, credit uh, disbursement, uh, for instance, uh, uh, should also start to uh, see an improvement. So for FI16, uh, uh, we are building in uh, growth rate of uh, about 6.8% uh, right now. Oh, 6.8 is quite a bit. Uh, when does the turn actually come? Uh, first quarter of uh, FY16? I mean, will it be the April-June quarter? 
honestly lata i think the turn has already come okay. uh, you know uh, the quarterly readings have been very volatile but if you look at uh, a moving average then the growth cycle is already starting to reverse and this is not a v shaped recovery where you know suddenly in one quarter growth is going to go from 4 to 7 it's going to be a gradual increase and i think we are already seeing initial signs of a gradual uh, pick up in the growth cycle i think more visible uh, signs of uh, growth picking up should be visible uh, by the uh, jan march quarter okay jan march i think the market's patience will hold out till then for sure Thank you very much Sonal Verma for joining us uh, with your thoughts